Hey guys, Brad here with Custom Offsets. Got another episode of Lifts and Levels for you. This is going to be a TerraFlex system. Which TerraFlex system? Specifically, the three and a half inch Sport ST3 system. Uh, we're gonna run through that here quick. This one in particular has the upgraded 3.1 piggyback uh, reservoir shocks on it. So they're not the remote mount reservoir shocks, they're the piggyback shocks, so they're attached to the actual body of the shock. And let's get moving along through the system here. We got new sway bar end links that TerraFlex includes. They give you this, their proprietary new bump stops as well front and rear. Front and rear bump stops are big on Jeeps because most people actually run without them and then going down the trails and the Jeep bottoms out all the time and it rides terribly. And then they spend a lot of time, you know, with these spacers and everything like that to actually raise your bump stop um, perches on the axle and everything like that. So it's a really nice system that they have there for the bump stops. We got new front and rear um, coil springs and they actually, as you'll see, are position specific. So you'll have a rear left and you'll even have a rear right. So it actually has different rates, left and right. TerraFlex is one of the few that actually does that and that's simply because um, you know, the corner weights on a Jeep like this aren't the same all the way around. One side will be heavier because there's a fuel tank and then there's some other things on one side versus the other. So yeah, you actually have specific location for the coil springs, which is really nice. It just shows you the, the time and the attention to detail that TerraFlex uses on their lift kits here. Uh, this is going to be a kit that reuses the factory control arms. So you can see we got a new, lot of new brackets here for the control arm relocations. Uh, we got a track bar relocation as well, which is going to be this bracket here. A lot of stuff included in these kits. As you can see, there's tons of parts everywhere. Sway bar spacers as well for this. Um, and then we also got the Falcon steering stabilizer. This is an option as well. And then another cool thing that Falcon has is they have these roost guards for their shocks. So rather than using a old school boot, shock boot, that actually, in my opinion, is kind of worse for a shock because it traps everything in there. They use these little guards to prevent, uh, you know, dirt and debris from flinging onto the shock at all times. Um, obviously, they're meant to take some kind of dirt and uh, debris usage there. And let's see, we also got, not included in the kit, is their TerraFlex, the rear uh, spare tire mount here for when you go to the larger tire, you actually need to use a new mount and then it retains the uh, backup camera and everything like that. So that's what that is here. Uh, let's see, every, otherwise that's gonna be it for the TerraFlex system. Remember, this is the three and a half inch Sport ST3 system with the 3.1 series piggyback shocks. All right guys, we got the uh, TerraFlex kit installed on the Jeep here. We're gonna run through the components. We got the new coil springs up front as you can see here. These nice new Falcon, the three series shocks, 3.1 series shocks with the piggyback reservoirs. You can see you actually have to cut into the inner fender liner here to make room for them because the reservoir, reservoir has nowhere else to go. They actually give you a little template so you can actually cut a nice little hole there and you don't have to eyeball it. They take all the guesswork out of it for you there. We got our new bump stops as you can see here on the top and then you actually raise the uh, mount on the bottom as well they give you a bunch of little spacers and there's uh, specific measurements that you need to take in order to set them properly you sway bar end links up front here and then you'll notice here uh, one of the main components is the control arm relocation bracket so you can see this is the factory lower mount and this is the factory upper mount up here and this new bracket relocates everything the whole point of that is to keep the axle centered under the truck not pull it backwards and not put it at a um, an odd angle where you would mess with your caster or anything like that We've got the track bar relocation bracket, which is can be seen right here. It moves the track bar up out of the factory location. They give you some new hardware with that as well. And then you'll notice as well the optional Falcon stabilizer that we went here. Falcon has this unique design where actually the, the uh, piston shaft sticks out of the stabilizer. Kind of cool, kind of different. And let's see, anything else to really note here? Pretty much the same stuff going on on this side. You don't have to modify the drive shaft or anything like that. So that's gonna be pretty much it for the front of the truck. This side's pretty much the same as that side, so there's not much to talk about over there. Um, you reuse the stock pitman arm and everything like that, so there's no changing that 
because this is only a three and a half inch lift. And then we'll go around to the back. It's gonna be similar parts in the back, a um, little different stuff. Once again, we got the new sway bar end links for the rear as well, just like we have up front. The new Falcon shocks for the rear. These ones have the roost guard on them here, as you can see, installed. It's prevent when you're driving and kicking up stuff, it'll just kind of shield the, uh, the shaft a little bit here. Got the new bump stops up top and then the new mounting pads on the bottom, which are obviously, once again, spaced appropriately according to TerraFlex's requirements. And then we got the new coil springs in the rear. As you remember, these are specific left to right. Oh yeah, that's one, one good thing to note here is you'll notice that the sway bar at full droop is very close to the shocks here. And because of that, TerraFlex actually has the spacer for the sway bar without that spacer up here. You'd actually have some interference or contact with the shock here and the, uh, the sway bar. So that's one thing that uh, they addressed with this spacer, something that you probably wouldn't have thought about, but TerraFlex has thought of it for you. And then the other main component in the back here is going to be the track bar relocation bracket for the rear. Just same function as the front track bar bracket, simply just in the rear here. You gotta move it up, keep the axle centered under the truck in its new lifted location. And that's pretty much gonna be it. That's the TerraFlex three and a half inch kit for Jeep JL.